Hi everyone, today I want to share with you uh, my orchids which I keep in water culture and today I decided to make this video because I didn't see any results in water culture uh, my orchids are eating themselves and today I decided to put them in sphagnum moss and um, I want to share with you uh, what happened with these orchids and what kind of um, problems I had in water culture. Let's start from this orchid. Here are three kinds of orchids are sitting in water culture. As you see, they grew healthy roots in one week. And now it's almost months. Uh, but in one week I saw growing roots, healthy roots and see here is the uh, other one. This is Oncidium, this is Bulbophyllum and this orchid I don't know the name and this one is doing great in water culture and it wants to, uh, to grow its root. You see this is a root and here this orchid has new leaf which started growing in water culture. This is good news which I want to share with you. Um, in water culture I had roots, good roots. That's why I decided to put my Phalaenopsis orchids in water culture also. But I didn't have good results with them. I put them in water culture months ago this orchid when I came from occasion I found out that it was not going good I saw these flowers they were fading like this and it's months almost um, these flowers are still like this months ago I found them in this situation with fading flowers but they are not falling and you see how they were there sitting as is and I decided to put uh, this orchid in water culture uh, the reason why I didn't cut this flower spike um, was that um, this flower spike was growing kikis I applied kiki past in this uh, flower spike it was growing uh, two kikis here I will show you something in this place from this place it was growing kikis it was big enough it was visible and I was not careful I picked this orchid from this place I hold it from this place and I wanted to take out from the waist and this way I broke this uh, kiki and here this orchid had four leaves when I was putting it in the water it had four leaves and you see this orchid is eating itself this is a, a third leaf and here was another leaf it fall it turned yellow it fall and this uh, leaf is also turning yellow, you see, and it wants to fall also. And I, in this uh, 25 days, I didn't see any, any results with this orchid. Um, you can say that, uh, that because I didn't um, cut this flower spike, that's why it didn't root. Yes, I agree with you. Most of people can think like that, but uh, you see this orchid even, I put them in water culture at the same time and I don't see any results with this one too. It means in water culture roots, they don't grow fast as we think. Uh, before I didn't know um, any, anything about water culture, but I watch videos also about water culture. I like that people grow in water culture new roots i like that and i wanted to 
put my orchids also in water culture and I thought that roots will grow fast but as you see in one month I didn't see any results uh, here I, I didn't lose uh, any roots in water culture but this orchid it didn't have roots before I placed it in water here it had uh, one hanging rod and it decayed I removed it and now um, because I didn't take uh, I didn't cut this flower spike this orchid is eating itself because these flowers uh, taking all the energy from the leaves that's why this orchid is yellowing its leaves and it's they every day it's becoming more um, weak you see wrinkly leaves fluffy leaves it had more strong leaves before I placed it in water and this one also it uh, it has more stronger leaves but it's becoming soft also it's not uh, in a turgor you see uh, I, ha I don't have any roots with this orchid and it's better to put it in sphagnum moss and grow roots I will show you other orchids which I placed in moss here um, I have Cattleya orchid which I placed it uh, 16 days ago April 9th uh, I put this orchid in the sphagnum moss in a live moss this is Spanish moss and uh, this Cattleya was decaying it was hanging I checked out what's wa what was wrong and I found out that was decaying from the um, bottom part of the stem and I cut that part and I placed it in this uh, sphagnum moss you see it didn't uh, it's still strong it's still firm I will take it out and show you in 16 days it didn't lose any turgor how it was strong it's still strong you see it's firm and I like uh, growing roots in sphagnum moss but I wanted to see uh, how it will work uh, the water culture method that's why I placed this orchids this orchid was uh, among my trash orchids this orchid didn't have any roots you see and it had this kind of yellow leaves all of these leaves were this kind and this was little bit um, green it was little bit uh, better than this ones and you see this ones died and this also died there is no uh, it's useless to keep this orchid anymore I will throw it away but I want to show you it was sitting in this water I put, because it uh, it doesn't have any strings that can touch water you see if I if even if I place it in the water the strings do, don't touch water and I place the stem in the water it was sitting like this this much it was sitting in the water here and you see this much it was sitting and it died I tried my best but even I placed it in the greenhouse in sphagnum moss this orchid will not root anyway because it didn't have strong leaves to grow roots the orchid leaves have to be uh, strong green strong enough to grow new roots but in this case where this stem will take energy and grow roots there is no energy because these leaves are already uh, in bad condition that's why it died I didn't place it in, in even in greenhouse uh, these orchids were among trash orchids also they had this kind of wrinkly fluffy 
leaves um, and I put this orchid one day down like this uh, in tea and the other day with roots in tea and that way I made this orchid a little bit stronger it was very happy when I uh, was keeping it in tea maybe more than a week I kept this orchid in tea in green tea leftover tea uh, and whenever uh, I want to change the tea I changed and didn't it didn't decay any root in tea I don't know and then I decided to put in water and after I placed it in water it started decaying its roots you see here I lost some roots and here I, I lost some and the tips of the roots are decaying here it's mushy you see if I press it's soft when I press here you see I can easily press it and it's soft and I can clean it like this you see it's coming out and nothing is inside and I will cut this part and I will pl uh, plant it in sphagnum moss because it still has um, good roots but I placed it in water culture I thought maybe this um, roots become you know more stronger and juicy but I don't see any good results with this one and instead of making strong its leaves it's you know um, losing its roots roots started decaying and I want to plant this in sphagnum moss now I um, put fertilizer uh, it's uh, here in this fertilizer there is calcium calmac epsom salt and orchid food I placed uh, this orchid I want to feed it before I plant that's why I placed this both orchids here is other one and um, fertilizer water I will plant them in sphagnum moss and um, before planting I will show you something what I am gonna do this one has it had brown roots this kind of brown roots it's not healthy uh, almost drying roots and um, these roots are dying in water you see they are turning black and I have to remove this roots before planting in sphagnum moss and here now I wanna remove uh, this I wanna cut this spike because there is no uh, reason to keep it um, because I have already broke this kiki and here I, I applied other one but this node is not growing kikis and I will cut this spike I cut it and now for now I will place it in water then I will do something with that spike here you see it has dry tissues from the old leaves uh, and I will clean a little bit it's not decaying uh, I showed you the mini orchid which I bought uh, I decayed its stem and most of its roots and I rerooted that orchid in sphagnum moss uh, I wanna do the same thing with this orchid it has still good roots you see these roots are healthy but it's not enough to you know I, I don't wanna plant it in a pot and leave it like this because this leaves you know day by day they will become uh, more weaker and that's why I it's better if I place it in greenhouse in greenhouse this leaves will be always moist from the water evaporation the water which is in the sphagnum moss it will evaporate and it will keep these leaves more strong even they 
the trigger will not return but it will not become weak anymore it will stay I think that it's not too much here uh, that I have to clean this is uh, here this root I can leave because it's dry and this root it's going to grow but it's not moving maybe in the gr in greenhouse it starts growing I will clean as much as I can and this um, black tissues it's not dangerous in the sphagnum moss they will not decay I will wash it uh, with potassium permanganate now and what is bad in here that potassium permanganate it will kill and even this uh, brown tissues will become clean all bad bacteria will die with that potassium permanganate uh, my mom is pharmacist and she used to um, use that potassium permanganate when we were small kids uh, if we had diarrhea she did enema with potassium permanganate and if we uh, had you know the stomach ache uh, vomiting and we couldn't throw up she made us for us water with potassium permanganate and she forced us to drink that and when we drank that water it uh, made us uh, to throw up and that way she cleaned our stomach and right away we could eat we could um, play you know it makes right away feel good and i am not recommending it to anybody to use but i'm telling you how we used to deal with that potassium permanganate and we use for more things my mom teach us to use that and that's why I use it's very helpful even when the baby had rashes uh, from sun or from diaper if you wash with potassium permanganate it will help it will dry that rashes and uh, that place will not itch anymore yes, it's ready now I can wash it here I have water and this is my helpful potassium permanganate which I used last time I have everything I have hydrogen peroxide I have charcoal if you don't have potassium permanganate you can use hydrogen peroxide or you can use charcoal ca capsules or you can use wood charcoal all of them will work whatever you can find you can use to stop you know the bacteria this is very good uh, also and even rooting hormone you can use and now I have this stick from ice cream and I make th I made it little bit um, moist the tip and I will dip the tip of the stick in this potassium permanganate and I took too much this is too much it it's better if I took this uh, potassium permanganate with tip of the knife this much is I think it's too much okay let's add and you will see the color it's too much I, s I know I will show you see how it's dark it's too strong okay let me take some more water I put here uh, some from this water and added more water in this dish and see how I will rinse it with this in this water you see you can do this way or you can pour the water on top of this it doesn't matter and this will clean all bad bacteria and whatever is bad in here which is 
in the stem and roots you see how I am washing and I will show you the stem after washing it becomes clean you see how it's clean now the color changed the potassium permanganate it took everything bad see and from these roots are clean now and I will put it to dry before I place it in sphagnum moss and I will clean this orchid also see here it has decayed roots and this root I can leave these strings I don't cut because it will help somehow in a greenhouse and this uh, root I can clean because useless to keep it it's dry and this one also uh, I think that in greenhouse these roots which wanna grow they will start growing and now I have to clean the stem a little bit because I don't want this uh, black tissues turn to the mold mold they will get mold you know the in the greenhouse sometimes and I don't want that and I will clean little bit not much because this stem is still good it's not decayed it has uh, the dry tissues from the old leaves I think that's why we have to clean a little bit and this it's coming the potassium permanganate it will stop diarrhea also if you do uh, enema with this and because it kills all bad bacteria now this one is also ready I clean it okay I am cleaning the today I have another cameraman <laughs> and I don't know how he is taking video my husband is helping today usually videos I take with my son my, my husband is doing it today for the first time with me no for the second time he did plumeria video also and see I can read in, in this water because these uh, orchids are healthy orchids they don't have any disease except you know the decayed roots and I am rinsing it like this you see and I put clean water with potassium permanganate and rinse it like this and as you see the stem is clean and I will leave it to dry before I place in greenhouse and I turn on the fan and I will do the same with these roots I will show you let me put fan on and dry these orchids 